All right there guys, welcome to Power Driven Diesel. This is another episode of the Parts Bin. Today we're talking about this guy here. This is our new P-Pump timing gear. There's a lot of updates because I've had a lot of problems with the standard gear available in the market today. So we made a lot of upgrades and this thing is awesome. Let me show you all about it right now. One of my biggest complaints with this gear is the fitment of the hub to the shaft. I don't know who originally designed this gear and hub assembly, but I know it's been copied many times by many different companies. So the ones that I put on my truck have the uh, taper bore in the hub is actually not correct to the taper of the shaft. I'm not sure if they just measured it and figured it's close enough or if they have a certain, I don't know how it happened, but you can see that this guy actually has movement here. This should be, you should not be able to push this on and have movement. Can you, I hope you can see this in the video, how there's still play here. So what happens is, is it's a little bit wider than the shaft. And so it only, it only touches in the very middle. I mean, you can cram it on there, but it's not correct. And uh, we actually looked it up, the, the right specs for this and found this actually is incorrect. And so with this one, we actually got the correct uh, taper with the pump. And so this one, even just with your hands, you can't, there's, there's no movement here. It's, it's just rock solid because it's the correct angle. So um, hopefully the gear you have is the correct angle, but I know there's a lot of them out there that are not. So if you're having issues, this might be your problem. Um, and even the wrong angle can hold a good amount of power because it's a really good connection, but you know, the, you should have the right angle on there. So this one's correct and, and awesome. All right, guys, let's look at a couple different of the differences in these gears here. This is a disassembled one of this here, and this is one of ours. First thing you'll notice is I want to show you the thickness of this hub right here. Notice how ours is so much wider compared to this. The reason we did that is I've oftentimes torqued the nut onto this and it actually will swell this to where the gear becomes uh, stuck to it. So you take your bolts out to loosen it and you can't because it's, it's swelled up inside here and, and you can't loosen it. So with this hub, there's no distortion of this hub because it's so much bigger. And so that's one thing I really wanted to fix. I really hated that. And so uh, we wanted to fix that. Another thing that I've had problems with on this gear in the past is this little screw here. This is a little timing thing. And if you move it over a, a little hole, it, it adjusts your timing very accurately um, as far as you know how much you advance or retard the engine. Um, the problem is, is I don't like using it. I think it's kind of a pain. And when I was a noob, I left this in the sprocket. I torqued it and put it in there. And it worked its way out and scraped up my, my gear cover, made a real mess. It's the only time I've ever had anything internally in the engine do something like that. And so after that, I would set my timing and I, I would get this thing and just throw this away. Uh, this is the reason I actually came out with the, or came up with the timing gear kit, we, or the timing kit we have with the magnet on the dampener because I just hated this so much. So I, I never ever used this. So I, I, don't, I don't like the fact that it's even here and it really makes it so you can't have a wide hub. So that's another problem. Another thing is the bolts we use. We actually, you'll notice on this guy here, I showed you, when these are torqued in place, the actual bottom of the bolt, the socket cap bolt, distorts around this gear. When we machine these gears and everybody else, this part's not hardened like the outside is. So this is a much softer material. And we actually tried at first to use a socket cap bolt in ours and it did the same thing. Um, and so we actually went away and we went to a flanged head bolt. Um, this is also a much larger diameter bolt. You can see this is a 3 8 coarse thread versus a 12 millimeter fine thread. So we torqued these M12 fine thread bolts down to 77 foot pounds in our hub. And when you're in the calculations, that means these bolts are, have a clamping force of 14,750 pounds. Uh, the old ones, when they're torqued to 45 foot-pounds, which is kind of like max, max, a little maybe over on this, assuming the bolt can hold it, this was right about 6,900 pounds, 6,975 exactly. So this has about 2.4 times more clamp force, meaning it's pulling this face against the gear at 2.4 times the rate. So, you know, it's not going to slip. If you remember, I have slip timing twice at UCC. And uh, it was always on these gears. And, uh, and so we needed a way to solve that so they wouldn't slip. Another thing that I really like about these gears is, for one, they're infinitely adjustable. This one, you kind of have a 40 degree sweep. And after that, you have to remove the pump. This one, you can infinitely adjust. Not that 40 degrees is not enough. It is enough. But you know, if you're going to make one, make it better. 
So I'm going to quickly put these bolts in and show you how you adjust this gear. Okay, so in the past when you have to adjust your timing, you have these slots here and that's, well, let me pull this little guy out here, it's messing me up. You have these slots here. If you need to go further than this, you're kind of out of luck. If you need to go just a little further than this, you actually have to remove your pump nut and pull this gear off and move it around and it's, it's you can't just go a little bit more a little bit less when you initially install this it usually you can get around it's not terribly difficult don't get me wrong but it's still if, if you if you want to go if you have a set and decide hey i'm gonna go dino day i want to go pretty extreme and this you want to go a little further than that you're kind of in a rough spot well with this one if you want to go a little further than that one of these six of these there's three and three so in one, in each group of three is going to be touching. So if this one's going here, okay, that's this one here. So let's take this bolt out, go to the next hole in the hub on both of them, the corresponding bolt, and now you can go the next one. Now this one's going to be my next one, so I'm just going to do this guy here and so forth. And just keep going around thing, and you can just keep this thing going all day long. Oh, this one here. So this one will never run out or never be where you have to pull your pump out to do it. So you just keep going around and around and around. So that's pretty nice about this. I like how on this feature, in this design we have here, this limits the amount your gear can actually slip. So on this one, you have about a 40 degree swing. Worst case scenario, if you have your pump set here, you can go this far. If you have it set here, you can slip timing all the way down to here. And that's what happened to me at UCC. I was at 42 degrees. It dropped down to like three. I mean, just lost all power. All power is gone. So it's a huge drop in timing. With this one, the worst case scenario you're going to drop is 16.5 degrees. And that's worst case. If you have it set here, you're going to drop just a few degrees. So you can really uh, set this up so you have a lot less potential of lost timing compared to this one. And uh, with the extra load, obviously, I don't think you're going to slip this. I mean, this one, with all its faults, it did... It didn't slip until high, you know, 16, 17, 1800 horsepower. And by 21 horse, 2100 horsepower, the dyno it was all done. And now with this guy on our, uh, on this is actually have I have this gear on my UCC truck right now, and I, I've had no slippage, and we've been we've actually had it more powerful than we had at UCC. So it works really, really well. Um, because we wanted to use these uh, large flange head bolts. These will not distort the face like this here. You will not have these nasty marks because of this flange head bolt um, really spreads the load out over a much larger area. So there's less pressure under every square inch underneath that bolt, even though the pressure is much higher since it's spread out. The actual unit or little tiny area is less. So it works really well. And we had to make this cool hub to make room for this. And it's awesome. Last thing I want to talk about on the hub. We really wanted to make this awesome. So on these hubs here, this is a cut thread into the hub. So 3 8 coarse thread, and it works totally fine. But it's not like super duper strong. If we wanted a high torque spec and these bolts work really well, so we've actually on this hub, these threads are not cut, they're rolled. You know, when you hear about rolled threads like ARP fasteners, you'll read about rolling threads and how much, uh, how much better it is, it's much stronger. Uh, for the grain structure and also it's much smoother and easier to install to thread in so these are very very smooth going in and out and i really like that a lot so anyway this is our new gear that we have made to solve all the problems that we have found over the years with this gear design here cool thing about it is we're able to make this for the same price as this guy here so you can whether you want this one or this one it doesn't matter the price is the same we were able to build this uh, all in America. None of, none of this is built or machined anywhere overseas or nothing like that. We do it actually all here locally in Utah, to be honest with you. And we are able to provide this the same cost as the old gear. So guys, that is our new Power Driven Diesel Adjustable Timing Gear. If you're in the market for one of these, you want one of these in your truck, uh, this is the best one out there that I have ever used. I'm very excited about it and I hope it works for you. So give us a call. We have guys here who can help you out. Uh, make sure you get the right parts for your truck. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Parts Bin, and we will see you next time.